In my last video, you may have checked out a quick tutorial I did on how to sit at the piano with perfect posture. Now, for the fellow singer pianists out there, this video is for you. I'm Brenda Earl Stokes, the owner and creator of Piano Invoice with Brenda, online resources to help you take your singing and piano playing to the next level. So many times when I see people singing and playing the piano at the same time, I have seen some really terrible postural issues, um, and these postural issues can not only affect um, your back and your neck and your arms, they can lead to injury in your hands and your fingers. They can also lead to inefficient singing and not making your best sound as a singer or as a pianist. So this short tutorial is going to show you how to fix that. Now we've all seen this before. You can see how I'm sitting at the piano, okay, and you can see that my neck is crunched, my chin is jetting out, my back is hunched over, okay, and although this might feel comfortable, this is actually a very, very inefficient way to sit and sing and play the piano. To fix this, we've got to take a couple of steps. Step one, push the bench back. Step two, bring your body forward. So you can see, whereas before I was sitting mostly on the backs of my thighs so that the back of my knee was right along the side of the bench. When I bring my body forward, I'm just sitting on my bottom. And most of the backs of my legs are not touching the bench. When I do this, it gives me the opportunity, if I sit forward, that my back will naturally become more straight. Now, obviously, our spines have curves in them, so we don't want them to be completely straight. But we do want to be sitting a little bit more on the erect side rather than hunched over, right? Once I'm in this position, my third step is to just very gently lift up my sternum, all right? So now you've got your perfect posture at the piano. So now that you're sitting correctly on the piano bench, we want to find a way to get the microphone in the correct position for us. Now, the best way to get the microphone in the correct position, okay, is first of all to put it on the correct side. So if your audience is on your right hand side, you want to have the microphone stand. This is a boom stand, which means it has the, the arm that sticks out that we need to sing and play piano. Um, we need to have the microphone stand on the opposite side of the audience. So where I have the camera today and where I film from my studio the most, the, the audience or my video is on the right hand side. So I put my microphone stand on the left hand side. Now your microphone has several spots that you can adjust, okay? You can adjust it here, right? You can see where I can make this go up and down. You can adjust the arm so that it can come out this way. And then you can also adjust from here so that the microphone is pointing more up or more down. So when you're getting ready to put the microphone in the correct place, the important thing to remember is that the microphone comes to you. So you wanna set your posture correctly and then bring the microphone and set it up so that it's coming to your posture. The biggest mistake that I see people make is that they adjust the microphone and then make themselves kind of go to it. What we wanna do is actually bring the microphone to us. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is sitting tall, I'm gonna get kind of a sense for where I need the microphone to be. It means I need the microphone to be here at about mouth level. So right here where it is, is it's a little bit too low. So I'm gonna start by adjusting this part. So the stand part, I'm gonna lift it up so it's about in the right place. I'm gonna tighten it there. And then I'm gonna find a way to extend the boom here so that the microphone comes to exactly where my mouth is. So this is about the right place. And then from here, I can lift the boom up a little bit this way, and then now it's in the right spot. You can see from this angle, the microphone is just a little bit too low. So again, I'm gonna make that small adjustment. This is kind of an older boom stand here. And now 
it's exactly where it needs to be. For most of us using these performance microphones, we need to be very, very close to the microphone in order for it to fit. So you really want to be like about two fingers away from the microphone and you can see, maybe you can see my microphone has lipstick on it. This is also another good reason never to share a microphone with somebody because ew germs. <laughs> it's like sharing a toothbrush. <laughs> so now that I've made that adjustment, you can see where I'm sitting right now is the perfect spot for me to sing and play. My body is nice and straight and tall because the bench is back. My body is forward, so I'm relatively straight in the back. I'm lifting my sternum up a little bit. And now I have access to the full range of the instrument and the microphone is in exactly the right spot for me to sing. Perfect. Having proper posture as a pianist is extremely important to avoid injury for sure, but also so that you have full access to the piano. I want to be able to be in a position where I can easily go to the high notes, to the low notes, and all the way in between without having the hindrance of posture that's not allowing me to do this. When I have my sternum lifted a little bit and I'm sitting in the correct place on the bench, I really have a free range of access to the entire um, instrument, which means that I don't have any tension in my shoulders, I don't have any tension in my arms or in my hands, which also facilitates uh, more dexterity from my fingers. As a singer, having this appropriate posture is also extremely, extremely important. As singers, we need to have access to our rib cage and our support mechanism. And when I'm slumped over like this, I can't really activate that area, so I can't support my sound. I also can't really get much of a breath. So when I'm sitting in this position with my sternum lifted, with the bench back, with my body forward, I really have access to my rib cage that I can expand and sustain for support. And I also have access to my abdominal muscles so that I can support the sound um, as needed depending on the song that I'm singing. It's also important to have proper alignment in the neck and shoulders. When my chin is jetting out, as it often is if the microphone is in the wrong place, if I'm reaching it like this, all right, what happens is that puts an incredible amount of tension in my throat, and we do not want to have tension in our throat when we're singing. That can lead to vocal fatigue, it can lead to um, just general discomfort when singing, and it's certainly not going to make for the best possible sound. So a better placement is if there's some alignment here so that in my neck, I'm not feeling tense like this, but instead I have some relaxation going on in there and the rest of the mechanism is in alignment enough so that my throat can do its work without a lot of extra tension. So I hope this short tutorial has been helpful to give you a better sense of how you should be setting up if you're going to be singing and playing at the same time. Remember the steps. Pull the bench back, bring your body forward, and lift your sternum. And then make sure that you're bringing the microphone to you in your proper postural setup rather than trying to bring your body to the microphone. I hope this has been helpful. Uh, make sure to take a second and subscribe and subscribe to notifications so you can get all of the great videos here. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I frequently post uh, videos and all kinds of other free resources. And check out my website, pianoandvoicewithbrenda.com. Thanks for watching.